What up, my peeps? Hold on, guys. What up, my peeps? Lord, 327. So, um, guys, today more news on E3. Um, mostly this is more we more. This is mostly more Wii U news. Uh, so practically, um, Pikmin 3 has been announced, and I heard it's gonna be awesome. I actually checked some and. Uh, hold on, guys. Come on, this computer is slow. There. Uh, Pikmin 3 has been announced. What? what get what is going on here? Come on. So guys, uh, yeah, Pikmin 3 has been announced. Here we go. All right. So, during its press conference today, Nintendo has officially confirmed Pikmin 3. For the Wii U. Only for the Wii U, I think. And, um, Pikmin can now pick up objects and interact with the environment, such as tearing down structures, new rock Pikmin were shown. So, guys, I want to show you the video that was shown. And, yeah, um, Captain Olimar is right now, um, absence right now. So guys, just wait for a second. The computer is freaking slow. I don't even know why. Come on. It's probably an advertisement now. So I'm not gonna... Okay, here. It connects Pikmin yeah, on this new hardware. So apparently this is like a translation. So, so here we go. Introduce the next Pikmin to you. Woo! This is the new Pikmin. It has already been ten years since we created the first Pikmin for Nintendo GameCube. Almost ten. First Pikmin for Nintendo GameCube. Now Pikmin is a real-time action management game in which you command the Pikmin to perform a variety of tasks. And while the gameplay involves managing your swarm of 100 Pikmin, there's a game that shows the movement, movements of each Pikmin individually. Problems. Therefore, we puzzled over how far away to position the, pan, the camera in the GameCube game. If it's too far away, you can't see the Pikmin, and if it's too close, you can't see the full map. The enhanced resolution of the Wii U has solved this puzzle for us. Now you can see the tiny movements of each Pikmin, and you can see that the, the natural setting is much more beautiful now as well. And the way they break the walls here is also more realistic. Now in Pikmin 3, the Pikmin... So practically, like, everything is, like, in, um, like, everything is, like, more hint enhanced from 2001's Pikmin... So uh, let's keep watching. And we'll find materials that they can use to build bridges. So it's almost like co-op, but um, makes them seem more like this looks really, really good. Now let me show you a new Pikmin type. These are the new rock Pikmin. You can use them to break hard objects. Oh yeah, they also introduced the rock Pikmin in Pikmin 3. And with Motion Plus technology, you can aim at specific targets, offering deeper strategy. Now, the basic controls use the Wii Remote Plus and Nunchuck. You can aim precisely, you can switch between Pikmin, type, Pikmin types, it's very smooth. So these simple and intuitive controls make it possible to target and throw Pikmin at enemy eyes or shells, and it adds more strategic depth when battling. And shaking. So like, um, it's like, more, more. But uh, guys, uh, remember, if you want to check out the full video, check out IGN, or I could actually upload this video later. Um, but um, also make sure just to, yeah, just um, check out IGN, because uh, I get all the news from there. And, uh, yeah. And uh, also, guys, don't forget to remember to subscribe to my channel for news and news and trailers. And, yeah. Alright, so practically, um, this is not Wii U the news this time. And uh, this is about PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Hopefully everything will be fine now. Yes, nice. And Nathan Drake and Big Daddy will be playable characters in um, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Hopefully this video will go on. I think I will upload it later. Um, but practically that's actually it for that. 
Um, Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, Amazon. Um, we um we will see uh, it on the Wii U, and so it's like instant video from Amazon and then stuff there. Uh. So yeah, it says there Hulu streams content from Fox, NBC, Universe, ABC, and News Corp, and plenty more, and then more films, and then, yeah. So practically, it's like, almost like, gosh, Wii U's getting a lot of stuff. Alright, so another Wii U in 3DS news, um, Scribblenauts, Unli uh, Unlimited. Now, I actually might upload this video later. And, um, sorry guys. Mm. It's bringing the Scribblenauts to the Wii U and 3DS. It gives the 2D and HD treatment. And, uh, it gives the players creations, customize their appearance, and other stuff with the Wii Remote and GamePad. Uh, and, uh, more stuff on the video, but remember guys, I think I will upload this video later. Mass Effect 3 and other third party titles are coming to the Wii U. And that is pretty, pretty cool. Um, it says here only, Ma uh, so far, Mass Effect 3, Tank Tank Tank, Tekken Tag, Tournament 2, Trying to Directors Cut, Aliens, Colonial Marines, and a new version of Ninja Gaiden 3 subtitled Razor's Edge are all on the way to the Wii U. As Nintendo announced it. Okay, more Wii U. Wii Fit U has been also announced for the Wii U, of course. Uh, Wii Fit, uh, Nintendo's Wii Fit and Wii Fit Plus titles have combined to sell over 43 million units since their launches. launches but now, Wii Fit U is on its way. Uh, it will support the Fit Meter for um, your pedometer that you clip to your clothes when running outside and then back home to upload your runs into the game. That's pretty cool. It's like almost interactional. I might actually upload this too, so um, more details coming soon later. Um, Nintendo around announces Sing, and I don't know what happened to the page. There we go. And the page. Here it is. Um, Nintendo announces Sing. It's a new karaoke game only for the Wii U. And, um, well, Sing, yeah, but it's actually here, uh, it says here, a uh, working a title. So, um, uh... New karaoke game called Sing. It displays lyrics on the Wii U screen and it apparently uses an extra microphone that isn't discussed at the moment. If the problem is it's being built as a party game, Sing is currently a working title. Now, guys, remember, I also pl uh, put up trailers, so if you are interested, please subscribe for trailers. Because I already got put, tra I already put trailers up, see? Um, I actually got like three trailers and they're all Mario related. Hold on. See, look at this. See, I got Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I got, um, my, uh, you know, those two music on. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2 and Paper Mario Sticker pa uh, Star. That actually, up, uh, that I actually pre -ordered. All right, now on. Um, two more articles to go for this video. Lego City Undercover is unveiled for the Wii U and 3DS. And it's a new open world Lego game. Um... And it says here from IGN, a Grand Theft Auto-like open-world game called Lego City Undercover has been detailed for Wii U. You'll use the Wii U gamepad to scan areas for clues and solve crimes and then roam the game world at will. Visuals are decidedly Lego, but the gameplay is struck straight up GTA or Grand Theft Auto and Saints Row. It is also for the 3DS system, which will u u contain unique content and its own storyline in the game, World for portable players. Wow, there's a lot of great stuff right now. All right, now the big thing, guys, Nintendo Land, and I will definitely put up a. I think I think um. I think it's big, but um, it's just it's like Nintendo Land, 
So guys, they um, Nintendo has um, addressed in Nintendo Land, and it's almost like all Nintendo's franchises going together, like in all one game. So like you got Zelda, you got Link, you got Donkey Kong, you got Mario, you got everything else into oh, into it. Uh, okay, okay. So and uh, and more stuff, but right now those are the things. There. So guys, that is actually it for my, today. Uh, my video here today. Please rate, come, subscribe if you want more trailers and um, news like these kind of video news uh, on. So guys, rate, come, subscribe, like it if you're interested in any of these videos. And yeah, guys, thank you. Bye.